Hello guys, this is Dr. Bass. Welcome to my channel and today I'd like to uh, show you a great discovery about uh, charging your Surround or any electric bicycle that you have. So here it is. This is the um, 3 kilowatt charger. Uh, it is uh, adjustable so it can go from 0 to uh, 125 volt, 0 to 30 amp. That's quite a lot of current. And it can work from uh, 100 to 240, so it will go on uh, 120 to 240 uh, AC volt. Uh, there's a switching uh, power supply technology inside and also a power factor corrector, so it's very efficient. So it won't uh, always uh, trip the breaker, uh, depending on the power that you uh, use here. But the advantage is that it's uh, flexible, you can adjust even the 10 millivolt uh, resolution and 10 milliamp. Um, so um, that's uh, very interesting because uh, you can in fact adjust to make sure that you won't blow uh, your uh, circuit breaker. So um, what's interesting compared to the other charger that uh, are available in the market uh, from the for the zero, I will show you. So this is um, this charger. It's actually uh, three hundred and eleven dollars. Uh, US dollars and you see here so you can uh, choose from uh, two different chargers so you can have the uh, aluminum one this way uh, a little bit more fancy or uh, the uh, regular which is look like a power supply from server um, and also there is a 60 volt 0 to 50 amp that's quite interesting but the maximum is 60 volt so you can't charge your 60 volt on battery with because it goes up to 66 or 68 volt I'm not sure so it won't work so you need absolutely the uh, 125 here so it's 391 and it's quite compact in fact it's uh, more compact than uh, this common charger here uh, this one is the uh, 25 amp version, uh, it's adjustable too, but it won't go to 125 volt uh, DC. Uh, the maximum is uh, 84, I think, or something like that. Uh, well, no, in fact, it's, uh, yeah, uh, 87 volt. Yeah, exactly, here. So, it's a little bit uh, less expensive, but this one is less compact uh, than uh, this one here. So, uh, just to give you an example here, you see relative to my hand and relative to the uh, 72 volt uh, 40 amp hour uh, surround battery so this is giving you an example here so this battery actually is at the 70, uh, 70 volt uh, 36 percent uh, state of charge and I have my uh, watt meter here um, in fact the display here is very interesting because you can in fact adjust um, I will show you so you can adjust the current so you fine-tune the current that you want to adjust here and also you can uh, adjust the uh, well you can see the charged amp power as well as the last charge uh, settings auto power half and also adjust the voltage if you want to extend the uh, life of your uh, surround battery that's a great way you dial it to uh, let's say 83 or 84 volts instead of charging fully at 4.2 volt per cell here and that's it's all connected and you will see I like these Anderson connector those are 45 amp connector working very well so actually you see it's charging at 72 volt here 71 there's a little difference because the wire have some voltage loss in so you see the power um, that's an old cycle, cycle analyst for e bike project. So you see, uh, 2150 uh, uh, watts. So uh, it won't uh, get the maximum 3 kilowatt because at 30 amp and 84 volt, it's about 2.5 kilowatt. Um, at 2.5 kilowatt, you will need uh, absolutely a 220 uh, AC plug. Uh, and if you go uh, on a regular one, um, yeah, those uh, 120, 15 amp, uh, this one uh, can output up to uh, uh, 15, um, yeah, uh, in fact, it's um, 1500 uh, watts. So uh, that's quite a lot. Uh, that's two times more, uh, and even a little bit more, uh, two, a little bit more than two times more than the uh, 
uh, stock surround charger. In fact, this one is about the same size as the stock surround charger for the total uh, overall uh, uh, dimensions, except this one is a little bit longer. So that's 3 kilowatt versus 600 watt. I like this one because um, it's flexible. You can go from 0 to 125, 0 to 30 amp. That's a very flexible charger for all kind of uh, e-bike or uh, uh, any e-project that you have. So um, yeah, that's it. So um, I hope you appreciate it, guys. And that one, I bought it on eBay. And uh, these are available on uh, Alibaba. And if you're a little bit... Uh, if you have, uh, well, let's say uh, more time for you and you want to do it yourself, you can buy it. In fact, that's a server power supply that is normally a 48 volt 50 amp um, for the data center. However, those has been modified by the Chinese guys uh, to uh, get all those uh, voltage and current. And you hear the 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 fan are actually accelerating, so the fan are uh, variable. That's very nice. And I will show you the web page where you can see uh, where you can even um, that's the page in French, but uh, you can have it translated in, in English. So that's the page about this charger that's uh, in the Chinese normally and all the steps to modify the power supply to achieve this charger are explained here. So how you uh, replace uh, those rectifiers and these things. Everything is very well explained and you can translate the page to better understand. It's uh, well detailed. So this is the uh, address that you see here. And if you type that, you will have access to that. So I hope you appreciate it guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and you will see uh, all my uh, next video about the Surround and other e-bike stuff. Bye-bye.